Bupen Hazarika the 8th of September 1926 to the 5th of November 2011 was an Indian playback singer, lyricist, musician, singer, poet and filmmaker from Assam, widely known as Sudhakantha. His songs, written and sung mainly in the Assamese language by himself, are marked by humanity and universal brotherhood and have been translated and sung in many languages, most notably in Bengali and Hindi. His songs, based on the themes of communal amity, universal justice and empathy, have become popular among the people of Assam, besides West Bengal and Bangladesh. He is also acknowledged to have introduced the culture and folk music of Assam and Northeast India to Hindi cinema at the national level. He received the National Film Award for Best Music Direction in 1975. Recipient of Sangeet Natak Akademi Award 1987, Padmashri 1977, and Padmabhushan 2001, Hazarika was awarded with Dada Saheb Falk Award 1992, India's highest award in cinema, by the Government of India and Sangeet Natak Akademi Fellowship 2008, the highest award of the Sangeet Natak Akademi, India's The National Academy for Gu Music, Dance and Drama. He was posthumously awarded the Padma Vibhushan, India's second highest civilian award, in 2012. Hazarika also held the position of the chairman of the Sangeet Natak Akademi from December 1998 to December 2003. Biography <inaudible> 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 Early life Hazarika, who made fame as a musician, was born on 8 September 1926 to Nilakanta and Shantipriya Hazarika in Sadia, Sadia Assam. His father was originally from Nazira, a town located in Savasagar district. The eldest of ten children, Bupen Hazarika as also his siblings, was exposed to the musical influence of his mother, who exposed him to lullabies and traditional music of Assam. His father moved to the Baralumak region of Guwahati in 1929, in search of better prospects, where Bupen Hazarika spent his early childhood. In 1932 his father further moved to Dubri, and in 1935 to Tezpur. It was in Tezpur that Bupen Hazarika, then ten years of age, was discovered by Jyoti Prasad Argawala, the noted Assamese lyricist, playwright and the first Assames filmmaker and Bishnu Prasad Raba, renowned Assamese artist and revolutionary poet, where he sang a Borgit the traditional classical Assamese devotional songs written by Srimanta Sankardeva and Sri Sri Madhavdeva, taught by his mother at a public function. In 1936, Bupen Hazarika accompanied them to Kolkata where he recorded his first song at the Aurora Studio for the Salona Company. His association with the icons of Assamese culture at Tezpur was the beginning of his artistic growth and credentials. Subsequently, Hazarika sang two songs in Argawala's film Indramalati 1939, Kahote Kolosi Loi and Biswo Bajoyi Nojawan at the age of 12. He wrote his first song, Agnajujor Firangati Moi at the age of 13 and he was well on his way to becoming a lyricist, composer and singer. Education and career Hazarika studied at Sonoram High School at Guwahati, Dubri Government High School and matriculated from Tezpur High School in 1940. He completed his intermediate arts from Cotton College in 1942, and his B.A. and M.A. in political science from Banaras Hindu University. For a brief period he worked at All India Radio, Guwahati when he won a scholarship from Columbia University and set sail for New York in 1949. There he earned a Ph.D. on his thesis. Proposals for preparing India's basic education to use audiovisual techniques in adult education. In New York, Bupen Hazarika befriended Paul Robeson, a prominent civil rights activist, who influenced him in his song Bistrano Parori, which is based on the imagery and theme of Robeson's Old Man River. This song is translated in various Indian languages, including Bengali and Hindi, and sung by the artist himself, and is still popular. Being inspired from some other foreign ones, he also composed several other songs in Indian languages. He was exposed to the spiritual, and the multilingual version of We Are In The Same Boat Brother became a regular feature in his stage performance. At Columbia University, he met Priyamvada Patel, whom he married in 1950. 
Tez Hazarika, their only child, was born in 1952, and he returned to India in 1953. Famous quote by Sudhakantha for Bishnu Prasad Rabha Bishnu Prasada Rabha Thikadara Nahaya Mantrao Nahaya Satradhakarao Nahaya Nastiko Nahaya Kati Mahaparasya Yadi O Macha Mansa Kaya, Biga Matira Jamadara Heo Pumjipati Nahaya Matio, Garora Bisana Nipinda Yadi O Sanyasi Bisbabidulayata Dehota Pakota Garaisana Kara Nichila Yadi O Garaesaka Buranjabita Enartat Babad B Plabi Yadi O Raomentaka Jati Baikara Namain Yadi O Dani Duhiara Jati Baikara Main Tanita Santanara Pitter Yadi O Gatanugadika Sansarai Nahaya Kami Anista ha Leo Fenetika Nahaya Tinikarai ha Leo Minato Ekaisa Bakaraya Kati Baro Kati Asamiya Athika Bisbara Chan Chan Dharamana Eka Mahana Manara Silpi His famous songs include in Assamese Bisterno Parori Moa Eti Jajabor Ganga Mor Ma Bimurto Mur Niksati Jen Manuhe Manuhor Baby Snehe Amar Zoto Shrabanor Guput Guput Kaman Kelam Buku Home Home Core Topic IPTA Years Hazarika began close association with the leftist Indian People's Theatre Association soon after returning from the USA in 1953 and became the secretary of the reception committee of the Third All Assam Conference of IPTA, held in Guwahati in 1955. Topic. Professional life After completing his MA he briefly worked at the All India Radio Station at Guwahati before embarking for his doctoral studies at Columbia University. His thesis, Demystifying Drive, Bhupen Hazarika, Envisioning Education for India Edited by Tej Hazarika and published by Cool Grove Press will be available in the U.S. in days. Soon after completing his education, he became a teacher at the Gati University. But after a few years, he left the job and went to Kolkata where he established himself as a successful music director and singer. During that period, Hazarika made several award-winning Assamese films such as Shakuntala, Pratidwani, etc. and composed evergreen music for many Assamese films. He was also considered as a new trend-setter in Bengali music. The famous musical genre of West Bengal, the Javanmaki Geet started by Kabir Suman in 1990s is thought to be influenced by Hazarika. Bhupen Hazarika composed music for films from Bangladesh to which got international acclaim. He was elected the president of the Assam Sahitya Sabha in 1993. In 1967, Hazarika got elected as a member of Assam Assembly from Naboicha constituency. Social struggle from early in his life, he was at the forefront of a social battle against the entrenched forces of casteism that sneered at a member of the Dom community making it as a musician of note, and kept him away from the upper caste Brahmin woman he had loved. Eventually, when the spirited Hazarika did marry, it was to a Brahmin woman, his revenge of sorts against a caste-ridden society. Later life He was introduced to Kalpana Lajmi in the early 1980s by his friend Hamendra Prasad Barua in Kolkata. Her first feature film Ek Pal with music score by Dr. Bhupen Hazarika was produced by Dr. Hazarika's childhood friend and India's top tea planter Hamendra Prasad Barua, Bhupen Hazarika on IMDb 1986. Subsequently, Lajmi began assisting him professionally and personally till the end of his life. In the period after the release of Ek Pal 1986 until his death, Bhupen Hazarika mainly concentrated on Hindi films, most of which were directed by Kalpana Lajmi. Ek Pal 1986, Rudali and Daman, a victim of marital violence 2001 are major films this period. Many of his earlier songs were rewritten in Hindi and used as played back songs in these films. These songs tried to cater to the Hindi film milieu and their social activist lyrics were browbeaten into the lowest common denominator. He served as an MLA independent during 1967-72 in the Assam Legislative Assembly from Naboicha constituency. 
He contested as a Bharatiya Janata Party candidate in the 2004 Lok Sabha elections from the Guwahati constituency, persuaded by Chandan Mitra via Kalpana Lajmi which he lost to the Indian National Congress candidate Kirup Chalia. Death Hazarika was hospitalized in the Kakilaban Dhirubhai Ambani Hospital and Medical Research Institute in Mumbai in 2011. He was admitted to the intensive care unit on 30 June 2011. He died of multi-organ failure on 5 November 2011. His body lay in state at Judge's Field in Guwahati and cremated on 9 November 2011 near the Brahmaputra River in a plot of land donated by Gati University. His funeral was attended by an estimated half a million people. Legacy and influences As a singer, Hazarika was known for his baritone voice and diction. As a lyricist, he was known for poetic compositions and parables which touched on themes ranging from romance to social and political commentary, and as a composer, for his use of folk music. In a poll conducted in Bangladesh, his song, Manush Manush Arjano Humans Are for Humanity was chosen to be the second most favorite number after the national anthem of Bangladesh. Some of his most famous compositions were adaptations of American black spiritual that he had learned from Paul Robeson, whom he had befriended during his years in New York City in the early 1950s. His famous song, Bisterno Parori, is heavily influenced by Old Man River sung by Paul Robeson. During his lifetime, a full-length docu-feature biopic film on his life titled Moi Eti Zazabor I Am a Wanderer jointly directed by late Weskarni Bora and Arnab Jan Deka was launched in 1986 at his Nazarapar residence in Guwahati City. Music for this biopic film has been scored by five-time International Best Music Awards winner only Assamese musician, songwriter, composer and singer Jim Onkin Deka, who also worked as chief assistant director of this film. During the next two decades, the joint directors Late Bora and Dekka shot him live for the film during his various public performances all over India, as well as many private moments in his domestic and social life. Arnab Jan Dekka also extensively interviewed him regarding his life and its creative aspects for the film, which had been recorded during their joint travel to different metropolises and remote corners of Assam and rest of India. The film has been under production since 1986 with film negative footage of more than 16 hours currently preserved in different film laboratories in Bombay Mumbai, Calcutta Kolkata, and Madras Chennai. The film was targeted for public release during the lifetime of Dr. Bhupen Hazarika in 2008. But, the production was halted after sudden demise of one of the co-directors Weskarni Bora in November 2008. Eventually, after the death of Dr. Hazarika, the film's subject, the surviving co-director Arnab Jan Dekka is currently carrying out necessary works to finish the film at the earliest and release for public consumption in several language versions including English, Assamese, Bengali and Hindi, with support from late Weskarni Bora's widowed wife Nazma Begum and Dr. Hazarika's bereaved family members including his wife Priyam Hazarika and Tej Hazarika. Meanwhile, two books describing the unforgettable experiences of the making of this milestone biopic film had been authored by its co-director Arnab Jan Dekka titled Anya Ek Zazabor and More Sanaki Bupenda, first of which had been officially released in February 1993 by late G. P. Sippi, then President of Film Federation of India and producer of world record holder Hindi film Sholay at a public function organized by Dr. Bupen Hazarika himself. Awards and honours Award for the Best Feature Film in Assamese Shakuntala, directed by Bupen Hazarika in the 9th National Film Awards 1961. The Best Music Director National Award for Chamali Memsab Chamali Memsab, music by Bupen Hazarika in the 23rd National Film Awards 1975. Padma Shri, the fourth highest civilian award in the Republic of India 1977. Gold medal from the state government of Arunachal Pradesh for "...outstanding contribution towards tribal welfare, and uplift of tribal culture through cinema and music." 1979 All India Critic Association Award for Best Performing Folk Artist 1979. 
In 1979 and 1980 he won the Ritwik Ghatak Award as Best Music Director for two theatre plays, Mahua Sundari, and Nagini Kanyar Kahini Bengal Journalists Association Indira Gandhi Smriti Paraskar in 1987 Sangeet Natak Akademi Award 1987 Dadasaheb Falk Award 1992 First Indian to win Best Music for the film Rudali at the Asia Pacific International Film Festival in Japan 1993. Padma Bhushan, the third highest civilian award in the Republic of India 2001. Honorary degree from Tezpur University 2001. Tenth Kalakar Award for Lifetime Achievement in the year 2002, Kolkata. Sangeet Natak Akademi Fellowship 2008. ASOM Ratna. The highest civilian award in the state of Assam, India 2009. In February 2009, the All Assam Students' Union erected a life-size statue of Hazarika on the banks of Dioli Puhori in Guwahati. A full-length docu-feature biopic film on his life titled Mwa Eti Zazabor I Am an Wanderer jointly directed by late Weskarni Bora and Arnab Jan Dekka has been under production since 1986. In 2010, Assam Cricket Association renamed the Barshapara Cricket Stadium as Dr. Bhupen Hazarika Cricket Stadium. Muktihoda Padak, awarded as a Friend of the Freedom Struggle, award by Bangladesh government posthumously, 2011. ASOM Sahitya Sabha has honored him with the title, Biswa Ratna. Padma Vibhushan, second highest civilian award in the Republic of India, 2012. Hazarika was honoured with commemorative postage stamps by India Post in 2013 and 2016. The Dola Sadia Bridge is built over the river Lohit, which is a tributary of the Brahmaputra. It links Dola in Assam to Sadia in Arunachal Pradesh is named after him. Filmography <inaudible> 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 Topic Notes Topic External Links Lyrics of seven hundred plus Bupendra Sangeets Official Website Bupen Hazarika on IMDB Digital Archive of Bupen Hazarika Topic Gallery <laughs>